So some of the older folks out there may remember the 1998 hit movie Blade and it featured an actor called Stephen Dorff. He portrayed Deacon Frost in the movie and you see him mostly like laying around in some corner listening to drum and bass in his headphones, his in-ear headphones and you they're so loud that you still hear it in the other side of the corridor. <laughs> I'm making fun of it, but I love Blade. Blade is an iconic movie, and I think Stephen Dorff was good in that movie. I enjoyed it. You know, the bloodbath scene, all the fighting. It's an iconic early comic book movie, but it's pretty much everything that he's famous for. And he thought that it would be a great idea to share his unfiltered thoughts about the MCU, about the Oscars, about Scarlett Johansson, about Black Widow, a lot of things in an interview with The Independent. It's worth a read. I'll link it down in the description so you can read it for yourself. But what I want to do in this video is I want to go through my favorite quotes from that interview because it's actually, you know, you don't get it too often that someone talks like that uh, in an interview. Let's let's jump right into it. So uh, Stephen Dorff, in regards to the Oscars, he simply had to say, this year's Oscars were the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a thing you say in an interview, you know, it's a common thing. You're like, that's just the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen. I mean, he's Stephen Dorff. He's an actor. He's seen stuff in his life. He's got a history of partying. He's seen a lot of embarrassing stuff, I'd imagine. The Oscars this year were the most embarrassing thing he's ever seen in his life. <laughs> He also said, my business is becoming a big game show. You have actors that don't have a clue what they're doing. You have filmmakers that don't have a clue what they're doing. We're all in these little boxes on these streamers, TV, film. It's all one big clusterfuck content now. <laughs> He's an angry man, okay? He's disappointed in a lot of things. In all fairness, he is known for, for giving interviews like this. I think 1992, he already gave an kind of infamous interview uh, in the Movie Line magazine in which he kind of threw casual bombs at people like Christian Slater, Chris O'Donnell, Mark Wahlberg. So he's kind of known for having these kind of controversial <laughs> opinions. But I love just how he puts it. We're all in these little boxes on those streamers. Okay, cool. Anyway... <laughs> So then he started to share his opinion on Scarlett Johansson, on his, on his colleague Scarlett Johansson, his friend, probably someone he knows. And he said, I still hunt for the good shit because I don't want to be in the Black Widow. It looks like garbage to me. It looks like a bad video game. I'm embarrassed for those people. I'm embarrassed for Scarlett. I'm sure she got paid five, seven million bucks, but I'm embarrassed for her. <laughs> I don't want to be in those movies. I really don't. I'll find that kid director that's going to be the next Kubrick and I'll act for him instead. Boom! <laughs> Mic drop. Boom. Obviously, people imploded. The internet imploded. Everybody got very, very offended by it. And I want to share some of my favorite Twitter reactions with you guys because there's good stuff out there. Like Family says, Stephen Dorff, I don't want to be in The Black Widow. It looks like garbage, like a bad video game. I want to act for the new Kubrick. Also, Stephen Dorff, <laughs> to be honest, I haven't seen this movie. I maybe, maybe it's a good movie. The poster looks more than ridiculous. It's, it's even a bad Photoshop job, you know, so I, I don't even know what to say. However, SpankyX813 says, I'd rather see that than the majority of Marvel movies released lately. At least this has Eddie Griffin in it. <laughs> So you can see there's a bit of controversy going on. Of course, people are very upset. You know, the hardcore MCU fans are like, how dare you? How dare you even have an opinion that is not aligned with ours on the MCU? There are no opinions. And they start to hit really hard on the personal level. Like here, for example, he's like, meanwhile, Stephen Dorff's filmography. Okay, a few Rotten Tomato scores. It's not, it's not looking good. But what I find so funny is that people are like, Look, you're also not good. They're not saying, no, 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 dude, you don't have a point at all, right? Like, Black Widow looks great and all these shows are really of, like, high quality and that's what we want. Nobody really says that. Everyone's just like, dude, <laughs> your movies also suck. <laughs> Come on, man. Have a little bit more dignity, MCU people. I mean... I also have a little bit of this fatigue, okay? When I'm watching whatever it is, Loki right now, okay? I watched the first two, three episodes. I know it picks up after episode four or five. I'm probably going to keep going. I'm not a huge MCU fan myself, but it's, you know, there is a little bit of fatigue 
there. The same with the Winter Soldier show before that. I, I wasn't, I mean, look, it didn't really pick me up personally. I'm not saying it's a bad show, but I can kind of understand that there is a fatigue. He's just putting it very, very harshly and probably a bit over the top, but I can kind of see where he's coming from. Oh God, the dislike button is glowing. And then people are starting to attack Blade, which offends me personally. So here we have Ben Ritchie saying, sorry, he's embarrassed for someone else doing a superhero movie that looks like a bad video game. That's quite funny. <laughs> that does actually look like a bad video game. I remember the CGI, you know, it, it doesn't hold up that well. You know, I said in the beginning, it's not, it's not really what you watch this movie for. It has many iconic scenes. But again, he's like not saying anything about the MCU or defending the movies. He's just saying, well, your movies also look like a bad video game. <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of evident about what he's thinking as well. But anyway, I'm just, maybe I'm interpreting too much. And then we have here someone who's, who's coming in personal as well. He's like, right on, Stephen. I missed the days when actors had integrity. So I did not know that Stephen Dorff did an advertising for some vapey thing. But they mentioned that actually in the interview as well, in the write-up uh, on The Independent. Again, link in the description. You can go there, check it out for yourself. It says he's been vaping and stuff while he's doing the interview. So I don't know. You know, maybe he's just... A user of the product and he you know it's not i mean he's advertising it okay vaping probably not the most ethical thing to advertise for but come on i mean we, we can't judge him for that and it again it's like a shot at him personally it's like oh man you have no integrity you did an ad for like a vape thing come on man come on <laughs> Let the man earn his money. I understand that if he then shoots kind of upward to the MCU and everyone gets offended, he doesn't look great. He's not the most successful actor when compared to the MCU actors. But I think it's worth talking about the opinion. You know, what is he putting out there and put all this aside? Because again, these people are just focusing on him personally. It's like, oh, you have no integrity as well. <laughs> and Branton says, looks like garbage. Meanwhile, <laughs> and another shot. I love these blade shots. It's just great because it really it does look like absolute garbage and it also in the movie kind of looks like garbage but these fluid simulations at the time that was that was the thing man people were hyped about this it looked cool and especially and that's another thing that kind of lives up in the blade movie is when he chops those enemies like those vampires and they just turn to dust it looks cool man it looked cool then it looks cool now it's probably much easier to do now than it was then but you know don't disrespect blade Okay, and I've seen several threads where people are like defending Blade to death, right? Like this guy here, Kung Fu Man says, Blade's a movie, people still remember scenes from to this day. Most MCU films barely stick with you upon leaving the theater. Oh my God, seismic bombs dropped. <laughs> okay, look, these people obviously are trolling to an extent and they're going a bit too far. But Blade was an iconic movie. Obviously, you can put it down to, at the time, there were not many superhero movies. So, in a way, it was a special thing. And it had a different, you know, way on pop culture in general. Because it was a new thing at the time. While now you have thousands of superhero movies. But nonetheless, I still stand for saying Blade is a great movie. It's an iconic movie. And Steven Dorff is great in that film. So, people are defending it rightly. And, and this guy's not the only one. If you go through the thread, you see several people defending Blade and saying it's, it's an iconic movie movie that holds up but the question really is like can Steven Dorff criticize Marvel movies like that while being less successful himself people seem to think no right because all they do is tell him like bro you're a loser man look at your ratings on Rotten Tomatoes and you know why are they not kind of talking more about the Marvel movies and put that more on a pedestal and and highlight what is actually great about them and why he's wrong about what he's saying about them but putting Steven Dorff aside for a second I think in my opinion he's got a point there right now with all these shows coming out on Disney Plus I mean I did enjoy WandaVision I thought that was a good show. It was clever. The the ending less so, but it was it was a fair show. You know, you don't want to be too critical. It's fair entertainment. I only watched half of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. It didn't really pick me up. And now looking at Loki, it, it also it just feels like they are like, oh here, look, here's the janitor of the Avengers headquarters, and he gets a spin-off show now. Hey guys, everyone's hyped, right? The, it's the janitor. Everyone's you've seen him. You know, he was in Endgame in the background. He's mobbing the floor. Spin-off show. They're obviously still maintaining an extremely high level of quality. I'm not saying it's garbage. I'm just saying they have to be a little bit careful that they don't do 
what they did with Star Wars, that they fell into that trap where people just developed a fatigue and stopped caring, kind of. And it's hard to come out of that valley again, right? When you Once you're there and people are fatigued about the characters and the universe, and it's all a bit too much. And it's just difficult, you know, to lift it back up again, get people caring again about new characters and all that. And I think specifically now with, you know, the story with Endgame and all that kind of coming to a conclusion... I appreciate that they try to tell all those stories around those characters and the background that kind of ties in with the bigger picture. That's all very cool. But at the same time, I don't know, man. Sometimes less is more. And I wish they would produce less MCU shows and movies, but make sure that the ones that they do produce are really good, even if it takes a bit longer to make. So overall, I think Stephen Dorff... <laughs> You know, he's, he's just a bit over the top. Don't be angry at Stephen Dorff, okay? He's just expressed an opinion that has, to an extent, a validity to it, but he expressed it a bit over the top and with zero diplomatic skill, so to say. So don't, don't send him death threats. People do this, okay? And don't send me death threats just because I said some critical things in this video about the MCU, but I'd like to hear your opinion. What do you think? Leave that down in the comment section below. I'd be very curious to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think... There is a fatigue about these MCU shows, about MCU movies. Are you hyped for the Black Widow movie? Any thoughts are appreciated. Also smash the like button, subscribe. I'm saying at the end of the video where nobody's watching anymore. But I appreciate you watching if you made it to this point. You're special. You're a special person in my heart. And with that, I say goodbye and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Bye.